No. Who would like <laughs> to start us off yeah. with? Who would like to start us off with the recap? Chicken. Come on, guys. Chicken. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me. Let me. Let Chicken. me think. I wasn't here for the start of the session, and I still haven't um, gone through some information here. So you guys start, and then I'll add in as we go, as flavor. For the soup. Well, we got into Zeltic proper. Zelt. Yeah, Zelta. Yeah, Zelta. Zelta, there you go. Yeah, Legend Zelta. of Zelta is a YouTube channel. The Nile Zelta. <laughs> Legend of Zeltor. Yeah, so we got into town... Um, thankfully, nobody was immediately hostile towards Mishpa, but it's pretty clear that they don't, uh, feel comfortable around her. And mm -hmm. is that about the time that you guys make your way downtown to the mayor's office? Mm, more or less. It was actually pretty quick. Um, so yeah. the general, the general rundown of what happened is that we returned to Zelta. We basically returned the... Um, the kids back home. Uh, safely. And along with that, we needed to discuss a topic with the mayor. And, you know, a couple of looks here and there, judging looks, but not really inherently hostile, um, towards Mishpa. But eh, that's more or less that. Really nothing else much happened. So we decided to make our way towards the mayor's abode, we met with the secretary, and uh, around there is whenever Nani returned, but um, uh, we had basically had to make an appointment because we couldn't have the uh, secretary, stubborn, stubborn secretary, <laughs> understand that the order matter was urgent, and we we're just some weird people that just spontaneously showed up one day to say, hey, there's zombies around. And apparently there's also another group going around calling themselves what? The Protectors? Or some yep. shit? Yep. It's been a minute. Uh, and... Yeah! Other stuff happened. Everybody else can fill that in. We went to the, uh, quest board. Uh... Found a bunch of interesting stuff to do there. I think Nani's planning on being a babysitter later. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. But we split into two groups to go and check some things out. Uh, Nani and Thomas went off to uh, hunt down some uh, bioluminescent mushrooms, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. And uh, Mishpa um, Lafayette and, uh... God, why am I blanking on names tonight? Brea. Thank you. Mishpa, Brea, and Lafayette went to track down a boar uh, for a uh, for a farmer. Had a very nice little Tom and Jerry moment there with <laughs> Lafayette. Uh, neither very of these bit. jobs... Neither of these jobs took very long. Both of them were pretty easy. We managed to get some decent pay before heading off uh, into the wilderness a little ways back to the uh, uh, back to the cave where uh, where the mushrooms were found because some Naga writing had been found on the wall. Hello, Mario. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mario. He's an owie. And, uh... <laughs> Hi, Ari. Hi. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we went, we went back to the cave, <coughs> read the writing, which led us to a destroyed Naga village, which was basically a mass grave for everyone who had been in there, uh, much to Mishpa's disgust, horror, and sadness. And then we ran into Brea's ex-girlfriend, who was apparently gathering some sort of black ichor from the uh, from the bodies. Bad first impression. She's great, I swear. Yes, that's why she's your ex, yes. Yeah, it was definitely her fault and not mine. <laughs> 
That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Anyway. I will, thank you. <laughs> so. But yeah, she has agreed to she has agreed to talk with us um about that. And we do have some other stuff we want to go and take care of. We have a hot springs episode to have. <laughs> we have a drink till your drop till you drop event to go to. So, yeah, let's get on with it. And Nani is gonna babysit. This episode are about do you wild? And Nani's gonna babysit. Hooray! Right. <laughs> I love how this keeps coming up. Mm. Anyway. So, you all begin to make your way through the town once again. Well, the village. Very big difference. Um, you begin to make your way through the village once more, heading to the Bronze Wolf, which is the tavern slash inn slash hot spring. It's a jack of all trades. <laughs> um... Your new comrade, kind of, acquaintance, <laughs> uh, is keeping silent the entire time, occasionally glaring at Brea, just kind of keeping to herself. I get that a lot. Mm. I think Mishpa keeps a protective distance, uh, towards Brea, like not close enough that uh, that she would make Brea uncomfortable, but close enough to where, like, it's very obvious that she is playing at being a bodyguard right now. Hmm. So... 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 We're, so, we're all saying so now? Is that what this is? I guess. I mean, it's a so so way to approach the situation, eh? Oh, God. So, I've got to ask. We were going to talk about this. Like, she just kind of motions between Brea and... The lady. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did I know if Brea had a uh, nope girlfriend? Nope. Mm. I mean, this was, this there's a never, chance. This was never brought up. There's a I've, chance I've... that you may have heard it on a grapevine, but there's no way that she would have told you directly. <laughs> yes, I'm... I'm... This is news even to me. I mean, what? <gasps> Brea kept it a secret from you. Right, right. Well, we weren't exactly apparently. close friends. It's not hard to keep uh, secrets from someone you barely see. Yes, we kind of are. We kind of did live on like opposite ends of the country for a good portion of all our lives. Ah, long distance. I see. <laughs> uh, not like that the forlorn childhood friend god just imagining the love just imagining receiving love letters from this guy is <laughs> <laughs> think of the prose think of the cheap poetry mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going oh, to I add, a, huh, I'm going oh, to I add a note Oh, I don't know, Brea. For someone who I went to school with, you certainly were good at keeping me at arm's length. I will get into that with you in a moment. You do also see that Thomas did jot something down. <laughs> don't! I... Can I go one place without it going horribly wrong for me? <laughs> the head shake from Lafayette. No, more or less. Thank yes, thank you for the confirmation. 
And I've had did sundere in parentheses. Ugh. <coughs> what does that even mean? That's not even a language here. Sure it is. It's Vitalian. Meta. <laughs> Meta. That's Vitali just going. It's Vitalian. <laughs> Vitalian's just Japanese. <laughs> yes. God damn it. Vitalian. I always. Very... Vitalia is a very eastern uh, country or continent. I always, kn I always knew the Italians history. were Japanese. Oh god! <laughs> I'll never forgive the Japanese. <laughs> I think they can explain treatment. Super Mario Brothers entirely. <laughs> Already out of pocket. Why the campaign. Why else do you, else do you that, think Mario's a furry? <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> The campaign in that setting uh, is uh, all of us just playing Mario Luigi while Luigi <laughs> works. <laughs> the Mario RPG Nintendo refuses to make. <laughs> True. <laughs> Where, yeah, where's the good shit? <laughs> anyway. Fun fact, did you know that Wario's, uh, Waluigi has never been in anything other than spinoffs? Yep. Anyway. And there he shall stay. <laughs> so... You two clearly have some history. So, yes. So, what, what was it that you guys wanted to know here from, you know, like what, and for, well, for one thing, I want to know why you were gathering stuff. At the place that I don't think that I should talk about out loud. Very sad. Perhaps this is me. a congratulations. Perhaps this is a conversation that would be better had when we're all in that hot spring thing together. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> this is a beach episode. Well, I wanted to, you know, try to do something here because the awkward silence was. Thin, was so fucking thick that I could cut it with a butter knife. My friend just like pulls out a dagger and just slices the air as a joke. <laughs> wow, did you did you it. get the donut out of it? She hands you something. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Nani begins to gnaw on air. Hmm. <laughs> Yep, that tastes super fucking awkward. I... <laughs> I can't believe that this is the circumstance that I'm in. Alright. Um... I can. I... Oh my god, she totally was your girlfriend. You do a complete opposites. You contradict each other so much. <laughs> That's true love. True love is a constant state of getting got. <laughs> I, you know what, um, why, since I imagine most of your questions relate to, um, you know, the circumstances, and she's pretty much already told us that she can't tell us, um, perhaps you guys should go ahead and I can have this conversation by myself. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, Bria. Yeah. You certainly seem to be quite capable of airing out everyone's dirty laundry for them. You... Okay, let's start here. How much do you know? Enough. I don't like that answer. Um... <laughs> oh, come with me. Um, and she's Where... just gonna, like, walk <laughs> off in this direction. <laughs> Where we're in the we're in the tavern, right? Or where are we where are we at right no, now? No, you guys you guys are right here. You're in the middle of town. <clears throat> I right, thought cool. we went Left. to the tavern and we're like The tavern eating. is all the way over here. Well this is where everybody else was. <laughs> so, oh. So like Damn are we that's... at the tavern or what? No. <laughs> no. Uh, if that, we if were that's walking it, towards it. <clears throat> If that's the case, they all can uh, do their thing. Lafayette's gonna branch off and just kind of wander the town. 
And they'll meet up with them later at the tavern. Okay, sure. Everybody just kind of going off and doing their own thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, what is it? Just, noon? Just... We've got time. Yeah, it's about 1 p.m. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nani leaves, never comes back. Well, Wait, where the hell are you going? But everybody was really distracted. Time to go to the farm. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, wait. No, you don't. <laughs> Curses for your dick. <laughs> You're not going anywhere alone. What? Who says that I'm alone? Mr. Benz is here. <coughs> Without one of us. <gasps> Are you saying that Mr. Benz is not one of us? <coughs> Look, Without break... Brea, Lafayette, or I. <laughs> you're breaking Mr. Benz up. Christ alive, it's gonna be one of those episodes. What's wild is that y'all let Brea just kind of walk around on her own, like, that's fine. Because, <laughs> I mean, you're already fucked up, and if you do something else fucked up, we'll hear about it from the town. So, you know. You no longer have. true, if anything was gonna happen, I would just die. So it's You okay. no longer have magic, you are no longer a threat. I can't <laughs> fight. <laughs> I mean, fucked up of you to say it like that, but technically true though <laughs> i know that we love you but also fuck you <laughs> uh, you're anyway not, you're not, i can send that all of your little bats parts of our group you could send one of your little bats with me they could keep an eye on me with their clicks no as much as i as much as i trust them i don't think they can stop you so having them as just an alarm wouldn't really work for me. Alright. Fair enough. So. You're going to keep an eye on me, eh? Yes. Well. Can you keep an eye on this? And now he turns into a fox. Given that I've hunted foxes for a majority of my life, yes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I am sending the bats out. Yep, they fly in. I assume they tell me exactly where she is. Oh yeah, easily. <laughs> well then they're telling you that I'm running in circles. <laughs> you know what? Let her do his thing, that'll distract her for a good two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, just let her do it at that point. <laughs> it, it is, she got hands. <laughs> she'll, t she'll tire herself out. <laughs> Is, is she okay? Oh yeah, it's fine. Watch her tire herself out in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Does this farm have chickens? You're in a wheat farm. Nas on wheat. <laughs> it's crunchy. <laughs> is it? Is that I how you would describe that? Aren't there any farms of animals around here? That dude had a boar. Yeah. On the other, on the other side, yes. Maybe. But this is you the other know. side. No, the other other side. The other side is the other side. <laughs> <laughs> we started south side. You went north side. Nani is going to explore. Anyway, As so a fox. with supervision. <laughs> So, Brea! Uh, 
Oh no! Where do you, so you take? Kinda... Where do you take your beloved girlfriend? Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I think truly, like the effort that she, the thing that she usually does to not like rouse suspicion or questions from people is just kind of go around and have like nor what seem like normal conversations while continuing to move so that no one catches too much of it. So I think she's literally just like going to pace the entire town. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you care to explain what you mean by enough first? Well, I would think that you're smart enough to know that I, to know what I mean by that. I it, I mean, clearly not. Hmm. And I thought so highly of you. Look, I am in a bit of a state right now. You're going to have to help me out. I would say you are in a bit of a state. She gestures to your arm. Yeah, right. Um. Well, I suppose. Um. I really don't want to start with that because it's pretty fresh. Um. What do you want me to tell you? And I will start from there. Why did you leave? Why did I suddenly not become important to you? What was so dire that you just decided to cut me out of your life without warning? Anything. I... I just... I wanted you to be safe. <laughs> From what? Well, you... We went to school together, you recall. I was really good at studying and really bad at practical magic, right? Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, at some point, I could do practical magic, even if limited. Kind of out of nowhere. I know what you're getting at, Freya. I'm not dumb. So, well, yeah, obviously. Apparently a lot of other people are, though, so that's been helpful. You do realize, I... you do realize, if, any, if I was any less of a person, I would go straight to the gods right now. You and I both yes. know the punishment for practicing that sort of magic. I'm well aware of them. The point is that the particulars of the deal that I made required me to do certain tasks, and those tasks usually negatively impacted people. Um, and I figured that not being particularly close to people who I would be sad to see hurt would be a good idea. I suppose I ended up hurting you more that way, but... I didn't really think about that at the time. Well, Brea, you know what hurts even more? <sighs> Being oh. abandoned without any given reason? The fact that you'd even consider the fact that you would hurt me. Would you really... Try to keep your power, rather than your girlfriend. Were you really so desperate to keep your magic that you would just sacrifice anyone that you weren't close to? 
that you had to cut people who you do care about out of your life. Just so that you wouldn't end up hurting them. Rather than, oh, I don't know, caring about them enough to not make the deal. Was it really all about power? What were you really hoping to accomplish? What was I... what was so important that you cut me out of your life? Oh, shit, you... it's getting serious. Her her accent disappeared. <laughs> Damn, you're right. Shut up. It's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up an Irish accent, okay? <laughs> to be fair, I can't do it either. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a weak yeah. one on my end as well. Anyway, what was so important that you had to cut me out of your life? And I know for a damn fact that you cut your mother out as well. I did, didn't I? And if I remember correctly, you weren't even that close with your brother. I you think were an island. the only person I had left. You were um, an island, Brea. You were isolating yourself just to keep your damn power. And for what? Because you couldn't do magic yourself? Did because you know? I couldn't bear being unremarkable. You know that. I... I tried so hard to be special and important, and I couldn't do it, and I took the easy way out, and then I was afraid of what would happen if I took the easy way back, so I just kept doing it because it was the easy thing to do. And look what it got you. <laughs> well... I think I've noticed, and she looks at uh, she looks at where her arm should be. A lot of pain, and no one to talk to about it. So, you figured all this out, right? Long time ago. And you still manage to think highly enough of me to think that it wasn't as simple as me wanting it to be easy. Because I know you, Brea. Or at least I thought I did. <sighs> I sincerely wish I was better. But, it's all, it's all happened now, so all I can do is make some vain attempt to be better now. I am so, so sorry. And I don't expect you to forgive me, it would be ridiculous if you did. <laughs> but, I have a Long, 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 laundry list of people to apologize to, including one in this town that I have on this conveniently written note. So, I'm going to try and figure this out, and I guess that this is where I have to start. So. You've been stripped of your magic. You've been stripped of one of your arms. You've left with pretty much no one to your name. Yep. And now, at your lowest, you want to be a better person. Well, if I'd wanted to be a better person at my highest, I wouldn't be here right now. 
this is the circumstance that I've placed myself in, and this is what I have to do about it. There aren't any other choices left. The past has happened. So in essence, there's no easy way out. <laughs> yes, I recognize the irony of the situation. You know, it's weird. As, you know, absolutely furious as you are at me, and as much as it's kind of radiating, radiating off of you in a constant aura, I did miss you a lot. And I'm starting to remember why. She raises a brow. Because at the very least, you told me the truth. Even my brother always kind of sugarcoats things, and he's as honest as people get most of the time. I haven't had anyone kind of... I haven't had anyone, like, actually yell at me in a while. It's rather interesting. Well, then. Let me tell you something. Oh, and boy. she grabs you by the front of your dress and holds you very close to her face. You were the shit person for leaving me with nothing. You left me standing there with no one else. You abandoned me. For what? For power. For recognition. Because you felt inadequate? That is no reason to abandon your friends. Your family. Those you love. You were a complete mess of a person. And an absolute bitch. And I hope you realize just how shitty of a person you were. And then she sets you down, which you didn't even realize she had picked you up in that moment. So she's, uh, I'm assuming that she's taller than me. Yep. <laughs> or at least. Ah, uh, cool. Um, so there's she was, about she was, she was dangling, five emo. She was dangling you about six inches off the ground. Jesus, there, there are about five emotions at her on her face at once. <laughs> um, number one, uh, fear at the recognition of having been picked up. Uh, which is a snap reaction. Uh, the deepest shame you've ever seen. Extreme embarrassment at the circumstance of having been picked up because the realization picks back up again. <laughs> and then just the tiniest twinge of hot. <laughs> yeah. Knew it. Off in the distance. Of course. Off in the Off distance. In the distance. Outside, outside the... Uh, Outside the buildings, you both Outside. see a fox with a with a journal just jotting notes, ferociously <laughs> scribbling. Yeah. Uh, Damn, we walk too close to the north end of the town. And uh, I'm busy once, being a fox doing fox things. Once Mav sits you down or sets you down, she, you see her taking a deep inhale. Hold it for about four seconds before exhaling slowly. But notice I said were. You do not have to be that anymore. It is sad that it took you this long and to be laid this low to realize that. But I don't think you're completely beyond hope. You're smart, Brea. 
There's no doubt about that. I mean, that doesn't really feel through right now, but go on. And there was not a day that went by that I didn't think about you. But I promise me that you will be better. I don't want you to be sorry. I want you to be better. Damn. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yes, Kratos. <laughs> better. I fucking love Kratos. Be better. Girl. Be better. I just I want to see him do like the boy voice, like the boy line, but with girl. <laughs> I don't think it would work nearly as well. It wouldn't, it, it wouldn't but it'd be really funny just for a twist. Woman. Woman. <laughs> Woman would be good. Woman. Alright. Woman, you are one giant pile of coal. Thank you for noticing my reference. <laughs> Very good. Anyway, oh, there was a scene happening? What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, is Brea okay? Well, she... No! What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> I'm not sure I know what that looks like yet, but... I'm going to try my best. Good. And she kind of takes your cheeks in her hands and she uh, gives you a kiss. Well, that's nice. Doesn't seem healthy, but it's nice. It's it's deeply unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> and then she pats your face <sighs> just a couple times. I love that. It's just the my it's just the slightest bit insulting afterwards. <laughs> Don't disappoint me, Brea. Um, Brea, um, Brea is desperately trying to not be, um, like, too visibly awkward. Um, so she just, um, uh, she nods, and then she does not look at her as she says, Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Flip it. <laughs> Man, I love a woman that'll just literally kill me. Hey, that's in her top five favorite things. Who doesn't? <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's a good ass thing. What? Who? Who doesn't like that? Shit's good. She gives you a light smile before nodding and uh, sighing. Well, I'm going to make my way back to the tavern now. Right. I'm. I'll see you later, I assume. Of course. And then she runs away. <laughs> so Robin bravely ran away. <laughs> um. Uh, Lafayette, I have a question. I have an answer. That <laughs> note, did it have an address on it? The one I was given? 
Yeah. Uh, is it, like literally, what is it? It is like one to one. What is here? I believe it's. If I'm not mistaken, let me double check. Actually, I believe Lilac said that it had the address on it as well, so it is there. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, fake street. <laughs> totally real street. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Yep. <laughs> Five, six, seven. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> Eighty-nine, ten. Not an ambush. Seventy-eight, fifty-two. Probably. <laughs> but yeah, that, that it should still have the address and the information of the crime that you committed in that small snippet. Mm -hmm. Great. Brea literally is like in a mode of all right. I'm I, the my entire my entire uh world has been flipped even more uh so uh c and I am emotionally distraught. Now seems like a good time to make that worse. <laughs> but I do think she would like pace around a little bit before she would uh, go do that, uh, explicitly for uh, other people getting their scenes reason. Mm-hmm. Lafayette. Hello. Let me just... You saw what I sent you, yeah? Yep, just just did. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> Lafayette will take some time to kind of peruse around the town. Uh, she's also going to kind of look at, like, the... Uh, markets around here, because she assumes with it being, you know, farm-oriented, there's actually plenty of good food here, mm -hmm. so she might actually want to stock up on something nice. Yep. You do see in the city, in the uh, village square, there actually is a bustling farmer's market where all the different farmers are selling their uh, produce and their uh, livestock. You do see that uh, someone is selling chickens, uh, both alive and dead, um, eggs, uh, different produce from the various farms around here. Um, there's even a deal going on with a pet merchant. She's going to kind of glance over with the pet merchant right quick, see what's up with that. Uh, he is having a buy one, get one free sale on all animal companions. Well, that's cute. Mm -hmm. But also, no. <laughs> uh, we could have three chinchillas. <laughs> fucking Christ. Get three of like the same color chinchillas and just all have different <laughs> variations. Which one's the real one? <laughs> just like shuffle. Ups. The third one stabs you. Don't pick wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the black eyes kills you. <laughs> fucking jump scare game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Lafayette will kind of peruse around and she'll, um... Seeing as she's partly thinking about Mishpa and what she has experienced and what she hasn't experienced, she's gonna kind of wander around and gather up some food to have cooked later. She's looking for some preserved food, such as, like, preserved chicken. Um, even if they're in... Even if there's some freshly cooked, actually, she might grab a couple of those, depending. She's going to look for some chicken. She's going to look for other types of meat that is available currently. Yep, Just I'd kind say, of peruse. I would say with uh, what you're looking for, you're able to get a uh, full um, Cornish hen and a rabbit. Okay. She's going to get some chicken. For chicken. about uh, two gold. Hold on. Fucking... There, there it is. Go. Chicken. Very there good. That's what we want. <laughs> uh, yep, she'll take the payment of that uh, and store that away for a moment. And she's also going to kind of look at the plants and kind of analyze and see if like any of them could be potentially used for either medicinal or poisonous use. So, because the, the, I assume it's mainly just like farmed wheat, but you never know. There could be some gardens here. There are definitely some gardens. Um, mainly spice herbs. 
Um, nothing much of magical properties. So it's like it's like more flavoring, if anything. Mm -hmm. uh, she'll take a couple that she knows that would actually mix pretty well with the food that she just got. Mm -hmm. The only place that sells anything that could be magical would be the Hop and Stop run by Mister the Heron Gone. Right. Well, I ain't gonna worry too much about that right now. I'm just gonna kind of grab like a small lunch for Mishpa to enjoy. I say small as I say I have a cornucopia, but to her that's small, to me that's <laughs> massive. <laughs> <laughs> but, yep, with that in mind, she'll take that, she'll pay for everything, and she will make her way to the tavern to meet up with Mishpa to go deliver the meal. If anyone wants to do a scene ahead of time, feel free. If not, I will go ahead and play out the scene of Mish uh, Lafayette bringing food to Mishba. Uh, I'm basically just following uh, Nani around. <laughs> well, after a little while of hopping around as a fox, realizing there's nothing really out here but wheat, but having a good time with the bats, Nani is going to fox her way foxily back into town. <laughs> There's neither a verb nor an adjective. She Quite... rested boobily. And literally the <laughs> second she comes out of the wheat, Thomas is like right behind her. <laughs> Are you two like covered in wheat now? Mm-hmm. Trot, 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 trot. <laughs> God damn it, quit foxing around. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nani is now going to use her excellent snoofer to find eggs. <laughs> you find eggs at the farmer's market, but you're being chased off by people uh, obvi for obvious reasons. <coughs> Nani, Nani, turn back. <coughs> turn back into your usual self. People don't exactly like foxes around here. Nani, uh, she, as a fox, she looks around at everybody, looks at Thomas, and raises an eyebrow, like as if she's saying, you sure? Someone whaps well, the little Get! Go on, yes, get! I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Nani transforms back into her regular form and says, foolish woman! Oh, no. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> you have you have angered the witch of the north. Oh my god! Uh, she runs hey. away, she runs away screaming, and uh, people are now trying to grab you and uh, take you to the lake. Quick question: uh, Is this a bad time to show up in the scene? <laughs> Go ahead, because <laughs> they're trying to grab her and take her to the lake to feed to the kraken. <laughs> What the hell happened? Oh, I changed back to normal and terrified everybody. I was a fox. Did you... Okay, so, having been around you for any amount of time, did you just turn back or did you, st or did you say something? I he said just that. turned back. <laughs> well, she turned back and then said that you've angered the whatever she said. This was my question. All right, we have to stop them. Okay. They are still dragging you. <laughs> well, I think Brea is letting it happen for just a second. <laughs> really Same letting here. it set in. Same here, to be honest. Um, but right before they're actually going to throw her in the lake, I think that's around the time that, uh, she's like, all right, that's enough. Yeah, you people don't realize this, but I'm actually under a witness protection program. That's not even what that is. That's not how that works, and that's not accurate. But, um... You actually start to hear a couple of them chanting for uh, Urshan to come out and feast upon the criminal, the witch that is going to burn down the village. And uh, you start to see tentacles rising up from the water. Oh, shit, it's real! 
<laughs> oh god, the Kraken is fucking real. Oh, oh my god, it's real. Okay, r r hold on. Hold on a second. Are you all Where's a bunch the of fucking the village village thing coming from? Are you all a bunch of fucking cultists? Because if you're a bunch of fucking cultists, then un by order of the fucking prince himself, I don't think I need to hold anything back on and attack <laughs> you. Please, just stop talking Nani, for like a stop. second. The one of the tentacles grabs you, Nani. <laughs> I need you to make a strength check. <laughs> Honestly, I wonder if we should just let it take her. It, it might be easier for us if we just let it take her. I don't understand. <laughs> you know the formula of fucking around too much and finding out? That's exactly what you're doing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, well, well, so, well. You have a backup character in mind, her right? Action. <laughs> 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 this early in the campaign? <laughs> Do you have a backup? Plan? And you all thought I was gonna die. I see that, that one. Still an 18. You know, this is probably about the time that you guys should, I don't know, explain. I what is listen, there to explain? You've made it you've made it extremely difficult. Anyway, um so uh I think she first turns to one of the townsfolk and says, Okay, so do you like give people to that uh to the Kraken often? Just the criminals. Anyone who threatens okay. the village. Okay, great. Um did any of you see her commit a crime? She threatened to burn us down! Did anyone hear her say that? I didn't use those words at all. Several people raised their hands. She said she was a witch. That we angered her. She said that she was a witch. And you extrapolated that she was going to burn down your village from what words? Other than something that a child would say when they jumped out of a barrel. Most children don't have their their hair go up in flames while they say it and transform into she transform can't help that that's a natural part of her physiology <laughs> <laughs> my hair was on fire it was about the, 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 the transformation from a fox also more importantly druids are a thing i'm a druid you know the nature nomads the ones that turn into animals you're all aware that they exist we're aware that they exist, but we never really seen one. Magic could not. Well, you're be... looking at one now. Isn't there like a druid coming like just to the west of here? More importantly, foxes aren't even one of the fun witch animals. It's true. I could have been something really witchy, like a black cat or something, but no, I went with fox because it's fun. And let's go into the and let's go into another important thing. Which one of you said you saw her hair set on fire? Several people raised their hands. Yeah, the way her hair, hair is like, orange, right? The sun is, and it's high noon. The sun is at its peak. Yeah, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I only said the witch thing as a joke because that lady hit me with the broom. Also, I feel like there has to be at least like two seconds of a trial beyond all these reasonable explanations do you not have children here do they not pull pranks yeah that's kind of why i jumped to the cult conclusion because you guys were jumping to conclusions really fucking fast I love to imagine that Nani is just saying this really calmly while she's being flayed around by the tentacle. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, is the tentacle wiggling around, or has it paused because the people have paused? Uh, it, it's uh, waving you around a bit. Like, what the fuck do you want me to do with this? Do I take it or not? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just... Stop with the whole Kraken thing for now, and 
Look, we've already passed that this is just a druid playing games. Mm. Yeah, I can prove that I'm a druid. You guys can name an ordinary animal and I'll turn into it. All right. You mentioned witches is... aren't even illegal. What is going on here? And uh, you all see a female water genasi come out from the crowd. With I have been falsely accused. Please help me. Our friend played a dumb prank and is all, and is about to be taken into the water by a kraken about it. You hear her uh, say something in another language, and the tentacle gently places you down uh, on land. Yeah, that wasn't so hard now, was it? <laughs> Yep. Yeah. <laughs> she she pats him on his back, and these are the things that happen. <laughs> that was a bit extreme. Now it's just, now. Just who are you? I've never seen you in this village before. That's because we came came from North Hollow. Is uh, uh real quick? Just based on circumstantial knowledge, uh that I apparently didn't have before because I'm sexist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is this the mayor? Yes, this is the mayor. This is one Okay, great. I'm... Just from context, I gathered that, but you know. Mm-hmm. Well. Just... <laughs> you seem to command some respect around here. You must be the mayor. Yes, that yeah. is me. I am Walzerai. And who My name you? is... <laughs> My name is Nani. This is Brea, and this is Thomas. They are my care. They are my caretakers. We are here. We are here with a couple of other individuals from North Hollow. We are on. A, we are on a sort of excursion to go town to town, helping people for the purpose of improving the image of individuals like myself who strike a negative image just by looking at me and from my horrible personality but <laughs> also we are we actually came here to speak with you directly as well so it's it's a good thing that you came i don't like how we got to this point but we do have some important information for you from from up north while we're here. She looks very concerned and intrigued and skeptical. Hi, okay. yeah, unfortunately that is all true. The circumstances are not great. Um, but no, you haven't seen us before. We, tr we truly just got here. Um, and if you need some evidence that we are not insane criminals, um, you might talk to the farmer uh, to the south or the alchemist is what you went to do yes i went to the herbalist yeah. and i get her gathered some ingredients for them to make and some some special her potions to help her people yes precisely whom we have already helped up, upon our arrival here <sighs> we were we were being kept from seeing you without an appointment so we decided to do our help people thing that part that i mentioned and things were going very well, up until somebody hit me with a broom and I said something stupid. Well, that part is right. Well, you must forgive my villagers. We are not a cult, but we do take our... We do take things very seriously around here. Especially you lost... <laughs> You also see, and your people also seem to go from zero to a hundred really quickly. <laughs> like, literally, somebody that they haven't met before just says, "Hey, uh, I'm a witch," and they're like, "Oh my god, feed her to the lake." 
To no. be fair, disturbances to the peace aren't very common here, from what I understand. No, they are not, and normally when someone says they're a witch, that also means that they're a hag. Okay. That's also a fair concern. But... But what? But... Do I look like a hag? Like, be honest with me, guys. Like, I, I know that I'm not, really homely. Not of the traditional type, and honestly, this would be a very ridiculous glamour. Okay, well, that does In make me feel a little bit better. Any case, um, we do have something we want to discuss with you if you have the time. I do we have, did make... I do have the time now that I am out here, and she sends the, uh, the crowd away. <laughs> okay. Um, well, then... Can I trust you guys to breach this subject in a way that doesn't make us sound loony? We can try our best. Um, can I use, uh, if you don't mind, there are two more of our number who should likely be here. Um, and I would like to, um, use the Sending Stone to, uh, contact, um, mm -hmm. Mishpa, because Mishpa's the one that can talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, with, with where we are on the map, I'm just imagining this, like, that fucking pie-mation with Five Nights at Freddy's. It's like, don't worry, Freddy. And I'll be I'll be right there. Turns on flashlight. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Lafayette's in the middle of handing a bird over <laughs> to Mishpa, and then just bring, 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 bring. <laughs> Our plot uh, twist, but... we're already watching. <laughs> I mean, that would make sense, too. But, yeah, truly, ju all you, you, just get, uh, you just get a voice message that just says, Hi, um, we've got the mayor in front of us, so now might be a good time to pop down in front of the tavern. Oh, yeah, we're near the tavern, huh? Yeah, it's all rather convenient for absolutely awful circumstances, isn't it? Wait, what was the name of the tavern? The what Bronze Wolf. The okay, what? no, that, that, that's, a, that's a terrible... No, like, we're right next to a lake with a crack in it. You could do something with that. I mean, I love Bronze Wolf, but, like, at the same time... You are in no right to fucking criticize anything right now. Oh, you <laughs> criticize that poor tavern owner. That, that guy just likes wolves, okay? Okay, Wolf okay. This tavern but, years and years ago. Like I said, they Ron's Wolf wolves. is a great name, but like you could totally theme it, is all I'm saying. You do know who owns the tavern, right? Have you met her? It, is she a werewolf? Uh, no, she's a bathhouse drake. So... Wait, a bathhouse drake? Yes, Sheila. Oh. Okay, I don't think that I've heard about this before. What is a bathhouse drake? Well, she's... A dragon who collects various oils and soaps and salts and stuff and feeds off of people's happiness when they are relaxed in her hot spring. Well, that's rather pleasant. And Doesn't fully explain the wolf thing now that you say it though. And here's what she looks like. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> you all watching the VOD can't see it, but we can, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's so petty. We're more important than you. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Well, anyways, I assume that you mentioned her uh, mesh messaged Mishpa? I did, yes. 
Okay, cool. How long do you think it will take them to get here? <laughs> they just burst through the door. <laughs> I'm here. To uh, back up for a little bit before all of the crazy happened. Um, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think, like, when Lafayette comes up to uh, to her and Mishpa's room, uh, she would find Mishpa just sort of uh, coiled up in front of the window, and she is just facing away from her, staring, uh, staring out into the town. Hmm. Lafayette, naturally quiet, because one, she's not very vocal, she can't speak, but two, her steps are very light, uh, will make her way towards the bed and set out the food that she purchased for her onto the bed. Um, is it warm? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Then the aroma would probably start hitting your nose before anything else. Is that you, Lafayette? Uh... Clap. Because <laughs> you're looking away and I can't sign to you, so. <laughs> I figured I, um, I'll be with you in just a second after it stops raining. <laughs> Love that. That's a, that's a good bit. Lafayette will kind of shapeshift back down into her chinchilla form and just kind of hop up like sk skitter up along like the bed frame and then hop along it and then just kind of perch up top to kind of like get a peek of like I she assumes tears with that comment yep she is just crying her eyes out like she has a she's trying to keep a stoic look but the tears just keep coming mm-hmm mm. wiggle wiggle takes aim and she's going to jump to land on your shoulder. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just frustrated with myself right now. It just kind of perches up and head tilts at you. I am not used to having the ability to make a selfish decision. And much to my shame, I did when I came back here. But when I was on my own, I was forced to face my own thoughts, and everything we saw outside of town was a lot to take in. I do not understand why I am feeling this way right now. Sadness is not something that you were allowed to feel back on the aisle. There was no point. People died people got hurt but there was no time to grieve there was no time to be sad to have emotions like that and yet here I am crying my eyes out over people that I never even met with that Lafayette will kind of jump towards the window and then point at you and then kind of like spread like do like an open wide like you're here motion as like a small chinchilla form and then point out the window. I basically just, saying, <laughs> just a tiny little chinchilla doing all this. I just imagined like a fucking blooper reel where fucking Lafayette chinchilla jumps out the window and just <laughs> 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 Boom, cut. <laughs> just baps against it and falls. <laughs> ah, yes, comedy reel. But then she asked, then after, like, she basically makes the motions of, like, well, you're here, not there. Then ta she then taps on the window with her claw and basically points him, points out of it. <laughs> Saying, this is, this is not home. This is not your normal thing. This is a different area with different rules. You are your own person. Mishpa uh, takes a moment to parse uh, the actions uh, that you're taking for a moment before she carefully reaches down and places her hand palm up in front of you, basically uh, offering 
uh, you a, a place to step on so that she can lift you up. She'll hop onto it and sit. She ra raises you up uh, towards her face and leans forward and nuzzles her snout uh, against you. Thank you very much. That means a lot to me. I can't remember the last time I've been encouraged so often by others. A simple little paw pats your nose. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I think it finally stopped raining. And she she will points turn to back. the food. <laughs> She will turn back, smile a bit wider, slither over, deposit you on the bed, and uh, she starts to reach for it, but she stops and glances at you, basically asking, do you, do you want first dibs? <laughs> Head shake, and then points to you. Thank you. And she will uh, start to eat a little bit more slowly than she did before. I wonder where the others are. We were going to try that hot spring together. I was rather looking forward to that. And then we hear the commotion. <laughs> Would our window have a view of the lake, or is it looking out into the into town? It looks out on the lake. Oh, perfect! Uh, Mishpa, still gnawing on some of the food, is going to go over and look out the window. And she does a double take after a moment before glancing over at Lafayette. Apparently that kraken is real. Slow head turn. <laughs> also, it's about to eat Nani. And immediately that facial expression just goes, oh, Jesus Christ. Just that tired expression. And she points to the window. <laughs> uh, Mishpo will observe for a bit, but she sort of uh, relaxes when she notices that Nani is being put back down. And then she gets the message on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, the stone. Well, it seems that we are wanted outside. Uh, Lafayette will jump towards the window. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> she will land herself on the window still and paw at it, looking up at you, asking you to open the window. She nods and uh, opens up the window for you. And she's going to scamper down towards the crowd, kind of bobbing and weaving in between. With the full intention of jump scaring the shit out of somebody in our group. You think you'd get there sooner than a falling snake? Uh, you land with a resounding thud. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she goes out tail first. She's following directly after you, figuring, okay, well, this is going to be faster. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, yeah, you you get to uh, the rest of the party. <laughs> um, everything's, everything's resolved by the time you actually walk. Mm. Uh, so to Thomas is be right back. Uh, those that are here currently, Nani, Brea, like if you could roll for Timmy as well. Yep. Uh, D twenty, please. Just, right. just a flat one. Just a flat one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> shit! Freya wins. Jump scare her. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, Nani's a yeah. Nani just went through a near death experience that didn't seem to affect her too much. <laughs> I'm alive. The wild thing about that is. I was initially going to do low rolls, and then I saw two nat ones, and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Why? Why? Congratulations, default. 
Uh, Brea, how distracted are you in this current moment? Well, I think Brea is... I actually think Brea is extremely distracted. I think uh, she was like... kind. She kind of said to the mayor, Hey, hold on a second. They'll be here in a second. And then she's truly like fully looking the other way. She's looking at like the water or something trying to see where that kraken went. Perception check, please. <laughs> My fucking weird ass brain doing weird ass shit just for some reason. How distracted is Brea? Just imagines Brea flailing her arms around going flop da flop da flop da Listen. I'm only it's doing what weird. feels right for the character. <laughs> <laughs> and what feels right for the character is flop it a flop. Giving flop myself it. disadvantage six. I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need to roll much out of curiosity. Alright, I thought so. Alright. Funny <laughs> <laughs> uh, so noises. Due to how distracted you are, you don't even notice that she's actively climbing up your leg, up your like up along your figure, Is you are so distracted that? with everything else, and she perches right there at your shoulder. And the second you turn your head back to look the other way, you are greeted with death eyes from a chinchilla. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm what the fuck? <laughs> oh God! What? Why would you do that? That's not. That's not an okay thing to do. <laughs> what? What happened? Yeah. You. Uh, so. Originally, I was going to do the lowest roll on who gets to deal with Lafayette. However, Lilac rolled for you while you were gone. Both you and Nani rolled natural ones. <laughs> so, that said, you were spared mercy in this case, because I decided to go after Bray instead, because I was just too flabbergasted by that. But, um... <laughs> I, so, Freya yeah. was very distracted and looking away and actively just trying not to focus on the situation at hand. Uh, Lafayette is currently still a small chilla that has climbed up Freya without her noticing, and the second she turned her head, she was greeted with the dark-eyed chinchilla in her face. <laughs> I need to be clear. Brea is partially an attempt on my part to play a character with severe ADHD. I think she has a disadvantage on perception checks literally any time she's not actively paying attention in a scene. Yeah, you do you, it's your character. <laughs> but, like, like, that's... She's truly, like... I think, um... This may backfire on you if you continue to be on her. Because I think she manages to fully trip on a rock and fall over. I don't know, she'd, she'd, she'd jump off. Ah, Lafayette! This is one of our other companions. She is an awakened chinchilla. Oh, an animus. I... She can't talk, though. She she speaks with sign language. And in that moment, she just kind of stares up to the mayor before... Begins to shift back into her normal form and then gives a respectful bow and then attempts to sign out. Can you see, understand me? Uh, she bows back and actually signs out, yes. Thumbs up. Good. Then I don't have to translate, uh, says the giant snake that is slithering uh, towards you all. This is number two in the. Uh... In the program of creating a better image. I can assure you, I will not become Kraken food. She kind of blinks up at you, uh, seeing your grand height and the fact you're an Aga. How on earth? Uh, remember what I said? Uh, we were brought here by the prince. Uh, yes, we are the, um... Uh, I'm not sure if he's told everyone, but uh, the prince gathered together a party of uh, two people from the Isle and three overseers uh, to sort of rehabilitate them. We call it rehabilitation, but what it essentially boils down to is going around doing good deeds and creating a better public image. Uh, Lafayette then signs out whilst Nani isn't looking. It's a program to make them stop being stupid. 
<laughs> Does the program have a name actually? Like a specific name? Something that we had something cool that we could like call ourselves as a group. Uh, Fuck, I don't irrelevant. Know. It actually does have a name. Uh, Thomas and Brea and uh, Lafayette, you would know, it's called the Abyssian Cultural Reeducation Program. Yes, we're, we're part of the uh, Abyssian Cultural Rehabilitation Program. Or a crp. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Wrong thing. Here's what it's called. Clickety clackety tippity tap. Clickety clackety. Why are you typing so loud? Damn. There you go. Abyssian cultural reeducation effort. Oh Acre. yeah! Acre. Acre. An acre. acre. <laughs> no, I see two capital E's in there. It's a Cree! I think at that point, uh, Brea does like. Brea just stayed on the ground for a minute. Um, I think she gets up, dusts herself off. <sighs> right, bad day to me, be me. Okay. Um, <laughs> Brea, I mean, I mean, for what it's worth, Brea, Lafayette would offer to help you up after scaring the shit out of you. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> the group. <laughs> The group <laughs> abbreviates the acres, so technically you could say that we're about five acres. <laughs> now I'm gonna pop you in the back of your head. I we're part of the acre program. Right, well, this has been a distinctly unprofessional way to introduce ourselves, hasn't it? You can blame me for that. Blame me for everything. No. You make it so easy. Um <laughs> the two sides of the coin. <laughs> I don't have to. She does it herself. <laughs> it's like we're not going to do that. It's so easy to always do that. <laughs> yeah. More importantly, however, I, there has been some. I guess you could call them complications. From it was North Hollow, right? Yep. North yes. Hollow. There's been some complications from North Hollow. <laughs> yes, it would appear that an infectious species of mushroom uh, that seems to be native to the isle has managed to make its way onto the mainland. According to my studies, it is not um, it is not native to the island. It's native to Abyssia. It just somehow ended up on the island as well. This is a very dangerous fu fungus that is causing a massive outbreak of an infection called blight rot. Uh, Lafayette will kind of whistle, whistle, and kind of, kind of make the motion around her neck, like saying, "Not here, not here." Um. Yes. Uh. This would probably be best discussed somewhere more private. Yes, but hopefully, what little we have said has piqued your interest. So that you understand this is a serious matter that we need to discuss with you. Do you have proof of this? Lafayette makes a hand motion towards North Hollow and then makes a sign. Go out there and see for yourself, but you won't be coming back. Mishpa is going to slither forward and she kind of ducks down a bit more to get closer to... Uh, her face um, and her eyes soften a bit ma'am we have come from North Hollow we have no reason to lie about this we have no proof on us but we have seen what this does and one of us has spent a better part of her adult life studying the blight rot. I have seen what it does to others. We are not lying. We would not make this up. I am begging you to take us seriously. If you really need proof, one of us does have a sending stone you can use. Or if you have someone who has the sending spell, 
Try to contact someone you would know is in North Hollow and ask them yourself. Or I guarantee... if someone amongst your justicias ha happens to know Zone of Truth, that might help. That could work. Magic isn't normally practiced here, but I do have a sender myself. And she takes out her sender and she holds it up to her ear. Mary Flower, this is Walderai. What is the situation up in North Hollow? And you see her face turn into one of shock and then darken. I see. Yeah, now you know why we didn't want to say everything out loud. Keep the prince safe. I will let the others know. And she puts down the sender. So, bad news, I take it. She is silent for quite a while before putting her head down. North Hollow has fallen. I don't suppose you know how bad it is up there because it was bad when we left. It was an outbreak. Yes, it happened pretty fast. The prince is doing what he can to contain it, but the entire town has been infected. The entire town? That is... So that... Um, and I don't know, Brea, I think you can tell she doesn't really think that she's saying this out loud. So that boy and his mother didn't make it after all. That's... That's genuinely upsetting. To know um, that the people that we helped people that we had got to know, the people that we were looking for, it's, it's troubling. Um, um, could everybody make a perception check for me as Nani says this? 15. Sixteen. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay, all all of you hear it. She's trying her best to keep it quiet, but you all hear uh, Mishpa start muttering, it's not going to start raining, it's not going to start raining, it's not going to start raining. Uh, you feel Lafayette's hand gently pat your side, Mishpa. Um, as a fellow um, deeply emotionally repressed individual, uh, can I make an insight check to see if I just immediately know what that means? Oh, please do. Mm -hmm. Nope, I do not. <laughs> Nani walks over and places a hand on Mishpa's hand. Takes like her hand in hers. Mishpa. Yeah. This is not our fault. And it is our mission to find those who did this and make sure that they face repercussions. Remember that, and let that drive you forward. Who the fuck are you? What happened to the woman who was almost cracking food a second ago? <laughs> Look, I could be a little shit, I could be a little ha-ha prankster, but... I'm wise for my age. We need to talk in a more secure area. Right. 
perhaps we could discuss this more at your office, Milady Mayor. What more is there to discuss? Do you have any news on how you plan to stop it? We have news on means of stopping it, and uh, we need to discuss our next course of action. You seem to be connected to the prince from what we just heard. I'm My fire will then do you then begin to sign out? For one, I'm sure you have your connections, but we are here to basically help fortify defenses and alert people to the situation at hand. As yeah. such, this one here knows quite a fair bit, and she's going to motion to Nani, and I'm willing to accompany her to make sure she doesn't do her absurd nonsense, but in this case, I think she'll be well-behaved to... Oh show the weaknesses of what we're, what's about to come. I promise not to steal any eggs. And Lafayette, Lafayette will just kind of side-eye. Why don't you list a thing out loud? Nani leans over to Bray and whispers, What do you think I've been trying to do all day? Don't? Okay. Uh, hear, and hear me out. Most people don't announce crimes before they do them, you know? It's just not a thing that's done. But then how will you stop me from doing the crime? You know what? Yeah, keep announcing them. Just don't announce them to everyone. <laughs> just a slow, steady exhale through Lafayette's nose. I'm helping you to help me help you. <laughs> help you. Dumb. <laughs> Lafayette will then sign out. I'm patient, but my patience is running thin. I hope your patience is better than mine. Levity, it is. Levity. That's to the mayor. <laughs> I know. <laughs> let's let's talk about this. Uh, let us accompany you to your office. Very well. And she will lead you to her office. Pass to the secretary, who looks surprised to see you all again, but doesn't really comment on it, as he just types <laughs> away at his tiny typewriter. <laughs> Brea would like to give a smug look to the secretary. Now it's not the time to be smug, but as they walk behind the secretary, Lafayette does flip the secretary the bird. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. Ah, fuck, the Kraken got her again. You guys are Everybody... so mean to the secretary. He was just doing his job. Don't care. And no, 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 no. Uh, to be fair, to be fair, Brea winks after, so it's okay. <laughs> It totally. was a, it was a friendly, it was a friendly, it was a, I, I'm only slightly mocking him, I'm also nice, it's fine. <laughs> Flicks off. Wink. I didn't flick him off, I just smugly smiled, I did a normal thing. Man, I dropped a funyun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. My Funyuns. <laughs> <laughs> Your Funyuns? Hmm? Your Funyuns? That fucker went far under my chair. <laughs> Not my Funyuns. <laughs> <laughs> then whose Funyuns are they? So, you guys go to uh, Walderai's office. <laughs> Once you're there, she closes and locks the door so that no one can eavesdrop. Right. Um, first pretty important question. How many of the how many of the major settlements around here do, would you say you have contact with? 
all of the mares are in contact with each other. Once I spread the word to Vaker and Floresta, they will spread the word to further down south. So within the next, I want to say three days, everyone should be well aware. Uh, so that eases our Good duties. Stuff. Secondly, for this kind of thing, do you have practices and do you have practices and that are set in place for outbreaks like this, or would it be something that you'd have to start preparing for from scratch now? This is something that Abyssia has never had to deal with before. The entire world has not had to deal with any sort of outbreak like this, especially one caused by magical means. Of course, but surely you have something in place for, like, advancing armies or something like that, which is kind of what this is going to look like, if it, at least in the direction of North Hollow. We will have to call in some dark seekers from Fae Summit. Aside from that, I believe one of the first things that we should do is start building up a wall, what we can. Seems like a good start. Yes. We will need, uh, we will need, we will need shipments from Clayminster of stone to make sure that the wall is sturdy, otherwise it'll just be made of wood and thatch. And we uh, don't want to be the second little pig. <laughs> <laughs> Mishpa is going to lean down in close to uh, Lafayette and whisper to her, Would it also be prudent of us to mention that we found out that it might have been an act of sabotage that infect infected the city? Lafayette kind of ponders that for a second. And... She leans back and forth on that thought for a second before she looks back at Mishpa and then signs out. It may not be a bad, might be, it might not be a bad idea to kind of point that out because there could be potential saboteurs stopping this, stopping their efforts to fortify. So she nods and raises her head up. If I may also state, we discovered the infect primarily after finding something strange happening with the city's filtration system in North Hollow. Someone had sabotaged the water system so that blood rot was actively being pumped into its water supply. This was a deliberate attempt at creating an outbreak. So you're saying that this outbreak is man-made. Yes. By whom we do not know, but yes. Does anyone else know about this? I don't think we really got the chance to tell anyone. Not even the prince. We were able to relay a bit of information to his guardsmen, but I don't think we had time to go into detail, yes. I see. If I may offer some amount of hope to this conversation, from what we've discovered, if it's... Minor restoration can cure it, but only in its very earliest stage. You would have to catch it before it. You would have to catch it before it fully took hold. Before it kills the, the infected persons. Once they're dead, there's no going back. They are going to turn into a blight zombie. So you need to make sure that anyone who has it is cured through magical means and anyone who dies of it is burned because that's the best way to 
destroy it. I see. This is even more dire than I thought. Yes, and I would probably I probably wouldn't recommend feeding infected ones to whatever the hells is in that lake. Definitely not. It would it would just spread the infection to the kraken. That is a very dangerous thought. Thankfully we get all of our water from the lake. Urshan makes sure of it. He is our biggest defense. But if we are expecting an army from the north, he's not going to be of much use. He will keep us safe from any sort of infected waters. But as I said, we do need supplies from Clayminster in order to help build the wall and the army of dark seekers that will come from face on it how long do you anticipate it would take to bring all of this together <sighs> unfortunately time that we do not have There are some mountains over by Cheaport Forest. If we can send a starting party there to make a trail, a pathway, then we can get stone easier. And possibly take some of Vakers, City Guards, and Dark Seekers. We may be also we may also be able to build a trench around the north perimeter, digging out a large hole that they couldn't climb up would, if not stop, at, at least hinder the uh, progression. That would help, yes. Not to mention it would be easier to build. Very well, then. I will gather a troop of the strongest hands in the village. It will begin digging this trench post-haste. And if worst comes to worst, you... Do you have appropriate evacuation routes in mind? We can evacuate further south. Some of us may go to Vaker, other to, others to Floresta. Zelta is probably the only uh, settlement that could be considered defenseless. And she uses air quotes. Everywhere else is very well fortified. Obviously not the best position to be in, as a, as a city that is mostly built on a predication of peace. There is someone that you can talk to that might be able to help. Who, who would we be looking for? He is a nobleman in Pedina. Works very well with uh, medicinal essences. He is a tiefling that goes by the name of Valor. 
I could share my notes on the Bright Shrooms with them, they might be able to come up with some sort of countermeasure. Was that the same... Is that the same uh, nobleman that Maeve is working for? Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but he wants I'm to grow sh- stuff. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> I just can't hide it. But that means I have to interact with my ex more. <laughs> but that means I would have. We would. Uh, that means we would be traveling the same way as my ex. I can't have that. SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob, it's my ex. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Squirrel, you fancy son. <laughs> SpongeBob, my balls are stuck. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yes, that. Yes, that makes sense. Um. Well, I suppose we are. We were heading in that direction anyway. We went. Cool. I was heading in that direction. Um. Which means that all of us were going to be heading that way with you by proxy. Exactly, given that I am uh, joined at the hip with all of you. Like Siamese twins. Hear the Siamese twins. I I happen to think my face is rather good, thank you very much. Not Uh, the point, this is all irrelevant. Um... Mishpa looks like she's about to say something, but then clams up pretty quick. Uh, Mishpa, check. <laughs> is there something you want to share with the rest of the class? I have no idea what you could possibly be <laughs> having trouble with. <laughs> this is not a class. This is a war council, Nani. Is there something that you want to share with the rest of the war council? No, it is unimportant. We can't say, be doing this. Um, say it anyways. No. I say unimportant shit all the time, and it ends up becoming relevant half the time. Come on, say it. Anyway, no. um, Fallow and Padina, you said... Uh, she's, like, writing in her notebook. Yes, Valor. Gently oh. prods Mishpo with her staff. Say it. I... You feel a sudden jab into your fucking stomach, Nani. Um. (laughs) Flops on the ground. Family Guy death pose. (laughs) Love that. Uh, You'll pardon them. They're idiots. Um, Oh my god. They act like they are, which makes them such. Um, I'm Brock, and Lafayette is Krogunk. Wait, I love that. Hold on, give me a poisoned weapon right now. (laughs) Anyway, is there anything specific that you would ask of us? Other than that. She kind of thinks for a moment. I'm not sure myself, but since I'm now familiar with with you all, I will update you on any situations that we come across. Possibly you could also have the Scholars Guild look into this. Um, uh, Tom and I have contacts with them. We should be able to do that. Good. Yes. Um, Tom, if you would, if you wouldn't mind going ahead and writing that letter, 
I um I'm probably not the best face to put towards the Scholars Guild right now. <laughs> yes, um what was the letter for the Scholars Guild for? Uh, just to inform them of what's going on, see if they can figure out what to do about the Blight Shrooms. Okay. Then, yeah, he will... Uh, sit down... On the correct side of her desk. Uh... And... Begin writing a letter. If we are traveling to Padina, would it be wise for us to travel with your... Friend... She does have an inn with the nobleman we need to speak with, so it might not be ill-advised. Of course, I just kind of left a really awkward conversation with her, so I'd really rather not right now. How bad we're doing this. Okay, yeah, fine. I guess it's important to whatever. I'll go talk to her, I suppose. Would it make you feel more comfortable if you had another person with you? God, yes. Oh, please. <laughs> if I am not needed elsewhere, and she will glance at, uh, at everyone else to see if anyone needs her for anything in this moment. <laughs> Very well. Then I will accompany you. Fabulous. Um... No, oh boy. <laughs> I will be right back. I smell fully burning plastic. Hold on. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Yo? The fuck? Arson! Microwave go hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know we already all got microplastics in our balls, but we don't need them in our lungs. God damn. Okay, that was, that was a bit unhinged even for me. But it's true. We're in Padina, right? We're in Zelta going to Padina. Yep, right, that's, right, the next, right. that's the next stop. A place where my past will definitely catch up with me because that's where I live. <laughs> oh, boy. Hooray! Uh, Freya. So... Are you guys heading out of the office by now? No, I'm if we've been dismissed, the then I think so. Yeah, I would say you've been dismissed. So, the, by the way, the letter is just going to be, hey, uh, y'all need to... I, I need y'all to look into, like, the... Wh what am I writing to the Scholars Guild for? <laughs> I need you to write a letter to the smart people society that says, hey, shit's fucked. Here's how. Help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what I figured. I just was wondering if there was something specific from the Scholars Guild. We don't, we don't need to tell them anything specific. I don't trust them. <laughs> they just need to know what the Blight Shrooms are and how they work and how that's bad. By the way, Brea. What? You hear a voice inside your head. What do you <laughs> mean? Brea, do not have much time. Go to restricted section. Beware the bone. King. The fuck? 
But what's really throwing you off here is you recognize the voice. It's your father. Wow, you really can't win, can you? <laughs> no. No, no, no. No. Is something the matter? I mean, I know I just said no out loud a lot, but we're going to say no. All right, uh, let's go talk to my ex-girlfriend who I just left an awkward conversation with. Hooray! Uh, and she's just gonna walk off in the direct in the direction of the tavern. <laughs> uh, Mishpa will follow a look of concern on her face. Um. Would she have this conversation with you? Not willingly. Um, make a perception <laughs> check. Perception. I'm not good at those. Nope. Great. I got out of it. Cool. Actually, you know what? You know what? <laughs> I, still have two. I still have two pieces of inspiration. I'm going to re-roll that. <laughs> you re-roll it twice until you succeed. Better. How cl are you at that same like protective distance where you're like, uh, I would say yes. Okay, so over ten's fine. Um, uh, Lafayette's gonna stalk them. <laughs> of course you Can fucking are. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna make a perception check. Uh, she can do that if she wants. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't stop her anyway. Um. Brea is like mumbling something. You can't hear all of it. Uh, there are kind of like interspersed phrases that you maybe catch. Like, not possible. I, what? I, gone. <laughs> like, you just hear like words. Brea. Hmm? Yes. Sorry. If some. I understand that I might not be entirely equipped for certain social aspects, but if something is troubling you, I would like to think that I could at least be someone you could confide in. No, you've been doing fine. Um, visibly lying. Um... Not even, like, not even making an effort to hide it this time. I... It... He... I... Right. Um... So... I thought that getting rid of the goddess who speaks in my head would have gotten rid of the voices in my head, and it hasn't done so, and I appear to be being told more mysterious things, which is fun. I... think... When I get back home, I need to go to the restricted section of the library. I see. Is that dangerous? Well, given that that's where I work, and I like to, like, I'm assuming it's like, is there, I'm assuming there's a restricted section that's like bad, and then a restricted section that's like worse that she never lets me see. Well... Yes and no. Or are we there talking are, about there are two the... restricted sections. You worked in the restricted section that still is kind of open to, you know, the members of the Scholars Guild. But there's another restricted section behind that one, where That's not even like... yeah, not even you have clearance. And the only way you can get clearance is from the guildmaster themselves. Uh... I was going to say, it's kind of like the Guildmaster's personal stash that we're not allowed to look at. Yes. That's the double and... secret restricted section. That's where they keep all the porn. I gotta get... No, just, the uh, one that where they porn. keep all the porn I've been to. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, the thing is, thing is, Brea, working in the restricted section, you actually still have not encountered any sort of Naga writing or Naga history of any sort. Anyway, I do think she is kind of like rambling to say this, but mm -hmm. um, 
but not like the regular restricted section, like the double restricted one that's like bad, bad. Um, th the one that only the guildmaster has access to, I guess, because there's no way he would just tell me to go where the pawn is, right? Like, that would be a silly thing <laughs> to tell me to do. I, it has to be worse than that somehow. Ooh, that would be a good place to confirm whether or not my suspicions are correct. Oh, uh, but I don't know how to get in. And she, uh, you, you have to stop her. She's gonna keep doing it. Um, <laughs> I, I appreciate all the detail. I just wish I understood all of this. So, why exactly is it so restricted that only one person can access? Do you not keep knowledge free most of it to be honest i don't know what exactly is in there i always assumed it was probably just you know tomes about how to do forbidden magic or something like that which i mean obviously they don't want people to just get um forbidden what do you think there would be writing about my people in there? And that is the very suspicion that I was talking about. I have never in my life, before a few days ago, seen a single letter of Naga writing. And now I've seen it twice, and I know that I've never seen any symbols. So it's not that I just didn't, I saw it and I didn't know what it was. I've never seen it, which seems impossible, right? I mean, the Scholars Guild's entire purpose is to keep hold of the entire history of, well, everything we, they can get their hands on. So what happened to all the Naga writing? I am very curious about that myself. Another question, it's... if I may. Yes. What is porn? <laughs> oh no. Uh, <laughs> I'm very glad Lafayette is extremely good at not making noise. <laughs> um, mm. How would she explain She's just this? like wheeze laughing to herself. Just what? very silent breath, rapid breath exhales through her nose as she's like laughing. Am I there? You're not there. You're not here. Nope. I can't handle if you. I can't handle you being here. You can't be. Here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nani's allowed. <laughs> it would be really fucked up if I went off to stalk you and brought Nani along to watch. That would be. It'd be really yeah, that would be really bad. Just slowly holds up Nani Fox. <laughs> Brea, kind of like. She's been going a mile a minute this entire time, clearly having like one, uh, like serious like brain burst that where she can't quite stop talking. She, she fully shuts up. You've never seen her do that. I, I, I mean, if it has anything to do with this ex-girlfriend of yours, I'd understand. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. I'm merely curious. It is not technically related to that. Okay, so let's start here. I I can't believe I'm going to explain this, but I am going to explain it. Um, do you... I don't mean to presume your naivety to this extent. Do you know what sex is? I do, yes. Great. Okay, so you're starting from a solid baseline. So imagine... <laughs> and hear me out. <laughs> this... <laughs> I, uh, Black Diana is just genuinely <laughs> cracking up on the side, like just face palm and everything. So imagine if you could pick up a book and have it described in explicit detail after about a hundred pages <laughs> of it teetering on happening, but not quite happening. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You've given me a lot to think about. If you could if you could list them for me. <laughs> well, I mean, just the first one, just the first one that's on your mind. 
Well, honestly, now I'm just curious about how this compares to how it works with Nagas. I mean, we're capable of having many partners, but we generally only settle for one to fertilize an egg with while retaining other lovers on the side. Is is that right. common around here? I, I guess it depends on the person. Um, one thing you would note is that um, her accent seems to have fully slipped into a different accent. <laughs> Uh, because she's so out of it. <laughs> I... Well... That is... It's a thing that happens, yeah. Hey, I yo, mean... I'm Ray, I'm talking about the birds and the bees <laughs> over here. <laughs> Gwen's real accent. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, she's back. <laughs> oh, Lord alive. I mean, there are people who do that, I guess. Um, the, hey, is that? Wait, wait. Why do you sound so different? What happened? What? I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm not quite sure. I know what you're talking about. Just insert Yangus from <laughs> Dragon Quest Eight going. Core blimey! <laughs> no, no. I'm. I'm pretty sure you. You were speaking with. A completely different inflection there for a little bit. Oh. Um. Am I just bad at lying now? Is that what this is? <laughs> is, like, I thought I was good at it before. <laughs> was it just, was it just in this? Is that what that just, was? I was just... only good at lying because I had the goddess of lies. <laughs> I, I thought I was just good at it normally. You just hear, like, the fucking wind whisper. Yeah, you're pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you too, wind. <laughs> fuck you, nature. <laughs> I mean, I don't presume to know much about lying. I've had little use for it myself, but... It's why so Why would useful. you want to lie to me? So useful, and I used to be so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, well, I suppose I'm not, I, it doesn't matter, I, it's too late, all my stuff's, it's over for me, basically, um, I, right, so, um, I don't exactly, I, I don't exactly know how to explain this to you, I really got into the character of lying, right? And so, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> this is the accent I'm going with because I decided that this was funny a long time ago. <laughs> Excellent. I approve. Continue. <laughs> I, I got really into the character of it, right? And, um, I... Th there was a voice that went with it and I kind of just did it so often that... I couldn't stop doing it, um, except for when my brain kind of snapped out of the character for a second, which honestly doesn't happen that often. Um, it, <laughs> she she seems truly dumbfounded that just every bit of the of the persona she's built over the last several years has just shattered in the last several days. <laughs> like, even thought... mid-explanation, she seems to have broken herself. <laughs> um, Mishpa reaches over and sets a hand on her back. I think I follow. And for what it's worth, I rather enjoy this voice. I mean, th thank you? Um... We've been walking a while. We're probably close to the inn at this point. Right. Yes. Um. I just. And um. You know what? Real quick, make an insight check for me, and then. <laughs> insight. I'm almost as good at that as I am at perception. <laughs> I bet you are. Uh, what I'm banking on. Tian? 
Um, she kind of like she looks into your eyes for an amount of time that is unusual, uh, and then looks away so hard and kind of just like runs toward the tavern a little bit before realizing that you're supposed to be following her and then slows down. She blinks a few times and follows after her, uh, scratching the back of her head a bit. Sorry, was I making you uncomfortable? 27! <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> no, no, uh, it's more I was making, I think I was making myself uncomfortable. I, um, <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Perception yeah. checks for both of you, please. <laughs> sure. Why not? I don't. I, I'm not getting I anywhere near that. Hit that. I can't what? hit it. Eight. <laughs> Can I get myself <laughs> double disadvantage? Sure. Why not? <laughs> there That's you go. Really good. It's <clears throat> not good enough, but it's better than it's ever been. Continue. I think as she's following after you, Mishpa would, like, come to her own conclusion and sort of lean in close uh, and just whisper to you, if at any point she continues to make you uncomfortable, just say the word and I can get her to back off. And she opens her mouth wide and you see her fangs sort of unfold um, and become visible as she opens her mouth. And they are... Like, she called them small before, but her fangs are actually fairly impressively long. <laughs> I... Listen, I don't even think she responds to you. She just, like, turns really red, nods, and then keeps walking. She folds her fangs back into her mouth and uh, proceeds to follow uh, after you into the inn. Great. <laughs> she Time for my pauses. day to continue. She pauses, blinks for a moment, and looks left and right. Strange. I feel like somebody should be riding on my tail right now. Probably. Uh, and she will slither in. <laughs> Lafayette's literally on your tail, but the mm -hmm. part of her your tail that sh she's on is just obscured in shadow and know that you somehow don't see her. I was really tempted to, like, during that scene of her, like, showing the face, you just see, like, a faint hint of gray, like, at the peripheral. <laughs> yeah, that's Must when I noticed wind. that she's there. <laughs> uh, but no. Uh, I'll go ahead and reveal it, because it's really funny. Uh, Lafayette is actively perched on, like, the very base of the tail. <laughs> I can't believe I called it. Yeah, I love that shit. <laughs> Blissfully unaware, Batch, and I'm taking full advantage of it. I'm not sorry. <laughs> of course you're not. <laughs> it's you, fun. You're really- you really put yourself in such a good situation because your stealth is so high and all of- uh, most of our perceptions are so low. Mm hmm The silent eavesdropper. That's what she my does! Pa my passive perception is a nine. I think- it's- I think Thomas has the highest perception here, I think, right? I mean, he yep, would. I have a plus five. Uh, and I think Nani actually has you beat. So even if I rolled a nat 20, beat it. My uh, perception is a uh, plus six. Oh. Damn, I, out I outperformed everybody. <laughs> then I guess uh, Nani uh, has the highest perception. Yep. Because, yeah, if I rolled a nat 20, it would still be just a 25. And even Nani wouldn't have seen that shit. <laughs> no one could. Even with her special eyes. I just like every time she turns, I'm just My like brand. walking in front of her. I'm just like she's like has that side eye view. So like every time she tries to turn to scan for me, I'm just like actively walking in front of her face just to make sure she can't see me. <laughs> it's like walking in front of a pterodactyl. Yep. It's like that bit from uh, Gravity Falls. I was thinking forward facing Phineas. Oh yeah. That works too. 
That also reminded me, it doesn't reflect on my uh, sheet, sheet properly, but I do, because of my observant feet, have a plus five to my uh, passive perception. So Nani's passive perception is 21. Fucking yeah. hell. Jesus. And she can read lips. That's what she does with those big ass eyes. Yep, she watches you. Hey, yeah, I hate hearing that. I hate to hear that. <laughs> I always feel like somebody's watching me. I, I mean, no people keep talking in her head. She genuinely thinks this at this point. <laughs> Tippity tippity. Just making some notes. Don't worry about What's it. What's in the tippy taps? Don't worry about it. Um, when you say it, I get worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I guess we would have entered the tavern, so I guess if you, the others have anything to do. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Nani. What are you two up to? <laughs> Other than Lafayette, who is here. <laughs> here, but not totally, yep. Uh... I don't know. Schrodinger's Lafayette. <laughs> Schrodinger's Chinchilla. You know, I do wonder where Lafayette went. <laughs> that depends where you, uh, showing up at. I was headed back to the inn. Ah, okay. I assume Nani's with you, yeah? Yes, I would not let her go anywhere alone. Fair enough. Especially after today. <laughs> I don't want uh, anything to do with this village of cultists anymore either. They worship the Fathomless. <laughs> Yes, Nani, let's just get to the inn. Why are you talking to me like I'm a senile old lady in a chair? No reason. Back in my day, we had riz. Nani, the fuck does that even mean? What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> it's... It's like it's like whipped cream, but it's raspberry. Uh, I'm gonna kill you. Ooh, I'm gonna kill you. I don't know when, but I'm gonna kill you. Ooh, <laughs> I gotta do it. <laughs> See, this is why I don't ask questions sometimes. Okay. Um... Wait a minute. One moment, please. Mm hmm. <laughs> There's a non-zero chance I could have used my position of privilege ability <laughs> to get us an earlier meeting with the mayor. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, you but have anyway, what? <laughs> I have the background feet uh position of privilege. Jesus Christ, I love that. <laughs> uh Uh, let's see here. Thanks to your noble birth, people are inclined to think the best of you. You are welcome in high society, and people assume you have the right to be wherever you are. The common folk make every effort to accommodate you and avoid your displeasure, and other people of high birth treat you as a member of the same social sphere. You can secure an audience with a local noble if you need to. I could have gotten us a meeting with the mayor, like, instantly. You Damn! <laughs> Damn! Bastard! <laughs> Read your fucking sheets! <laughs> I love you. I love you, bud. So much. This is on par with the fact that you don't take notes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut we up. love you. We love you, buddy. But fuck, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him that constantly. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Darling, sweetheart, love of my life, dumbass. <laughs> I'm just imagining you two are just cuddling against each other in the middle of the night, like in, in a bed together, just resting against each other, big old smiles, and just out of nowhere, Ari's just like, 
dumb shit. <laughs> With <laughs> like, a <laughs> like smile. <laughs> Timmy just did shit that I would do. And did I have this. Face, like, like dumb shit. I have oh this. As, I, I ask this genuinely. Have I, have I ever done that? No. Okay. I'm Here's adding a problem, list. doctor. It will love happen. so much, but she's so fucking stupid. He, listen, they the problem is, he's incredibly intelligent. He's just not smart. And this but is you why. know so much, this, this, and this you've is, explained. This is why. Timmy, intelligence. Me, wisdom. Ari, charisma. <laughs> oh, I get what I want very easily. It's the one thing I'm good at. Together, we make a single functional human being. Hooray. <laughs> so, family. Yeah. Family. Family. And family. then there's me, Constitution. <laughs> Constitution. <laughs> So we have Constitution. I guess I would either make me. Who's what does, doing a back? What does that con score look like? <laughs> what, like mine in real life or not? What's the last con? What's the last con check you made that you succeeded IRL. wildly? Um, I uh, well, I didn't get COVID for like how many years? <laughs> It took That's like good three concept. years before you got COVID, yeah. <laughs> uh, Thomas. Yeah? Roll me a D100, please. No! Hooray! Wild what? magic! Huh? <laughs> oh no! The wild Not magic. Not wild magic. ranger magic, the weakest of all the <laughs> wild magics. <laughs> okay, fuck you. <laughs> 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 Well, okay, we win no! the game, right? <laughs> Campaign's now. over. Campaign's 100. over. The Tarask is here. That's fucking the scary. Tarask, baby. Because I have PTSD from what I've learned. If Selena rolled a fucking 100 on a D5 whenever she's casting Cataclysmic level of magic, the game just outright ends. I remember that, yes. Yeah. I love that. That's so funny. <laughs> Campaign literally over. Campaign literally ends. I literally usher the end myself. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Did you uh -huh. see that coming? Did you even consider that this was a possibility? Yes. I have a list. I mean... <laughs> I, I mean more like on an emotional level, not like on a preparedness level. <laughs> okay, so, Thomas, uh... Yeah. After you after you send the letter, uh, it takes a little bit, but uh, soon you get a response, and the uh, dog to deliver it is Cerberus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, baby. What? <laughs> That's what I'm fucking talking about. And only one of its heads is really happy to see you. One of its, it, and only one, it, all three heads are holding, like, the letter has been ripped into three pieces, but they're still whole <laughs> if you put the letter back together. <laughs> <laughs> you just put some tape on there, you can read it just fine. But they, they like, couldn't they agree who got to hold it. 200 years, though. So yeah, you just see... Cerberus, this giant three-headed dog that is three times your size, holding this tiny letter, the gentlest that it can in its mouth. That is going to be fucking horrifying for nearby. That is going to be what? horrifying. The hell? <clears throat> what? To be Get clear, it. is this happening outside the window of the tavern? I just want to know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll get to it. I... I'm not missing this just because I'm in a different scene. That, that, that <laughs> is basically his reaction. Just, what the actual hell? The what? other two heads just both look at you like, yeah. <laughs> can Cerberus speak? I can imagine. <laughs> Check. Do I speak with animals yet? No, I do not. I don't think I do. But I do Cerberus not. even count as an animal. 
I'm going to sneak, sneak attack the dog by uh, sneak attacking its ears with the scritches. Okay, so <laughs> Cerberus does understand Abyssal, Common, and Infernal, but cannot speak. Hmm, okay. Hmm. And uh, so, by the way, uh, yeah, this is common. this is this is what he looks like. Rar. Fire Boy. puppy! He's I literally on it. fire. His literally, I love the idea that his, there's fire in his mouth, but the fire is like not burning the letter. <laughs> I like That's the idea fire. that Mr. Burns gets really jealous when he sees that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, have you have you ever seen uh, Rapid Ash in the Pokemon anime? The fire doesn't hurt if it trusts you. You just met this dog. Does the dog trust you? It trusts, it trusts the letter. I mean, to be fair, I guess it signed up to be, uh, to be a parcel pet, so it can't really be... <laughs> What are the fucking odds, Lily? One in a hundred to fucking get Cerberus showing up in I the middle Cerberus. of a fucking town full of people that don't get magic often. Holy yeah. fuck, dude. Can you, can we stop and, this? And a fucking, like, 15 foot, 16 foot tall dog. I would like to be... dog, nightmare dog, just shows up in front of this fucking inn. Three-headed nightmare dog at an inn. Next to Nani, who they already <laughs> tried to throw in for being a witch once. <laughs> who also has flames for hair for like a split second, as far as they saw. <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> God, we're bad at this. So, so they have a letter. <laughs> yes, and they give you the letter, and then they poof away. Yeah, and there are no consequences. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm. Just going to go inside. What's funny is the Scholars Guild responded faster than your own mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're right. <laughs> it's probably just a form letter. I lo actually, I love the idea that your mother was <laughs> grappling for three full days with the idea of how do I tell my son he's crazy while letting him know I still love him. <laughs> Well, also, you gotta think, she also had to send out a search party for these mushrooms and came back empty-handed. I mean, yeah, but she could have sent, like, a short letter, like, okay, we'll check, thanks. <laughs> but that's a waste of a stamp! That's like saying K! <laughs> Fine. <laughs> She's rich, right? <laughs> Sends out a stamp with a letter that just says, you good? <laughs> I see the brain virus that took your father has now come to claim you. <laughs> come for your stupid. Mm. Anyway, what do you guys want to do? Well, I mean, Mishpa oh, I'm and sorry, were we supposed Brea to be doing are... something? Well, I mean, Mishpa and Brea are inside right now looking for Maeve. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you find her easily enough. She's sitting at the bar drinking her fifth glass of beer. What what time is it? 2 p.m. Love her. <laughs> She's my favorite person. <laughs> She's where that happened for, for a reason. I think this was like the one bad habit that she had that was very much a name. <laughs> um, Brea literally, like, upon seeing her, literally, like, seemed to like shut down and be like, I can't. I can't just go up there. I can't just go up. I can't do it. Okay, so Mishpa <laughs> completely misreads the situation and puts an encouraging hand on your back and says, Don't worry, if she tries anything, I can strangle her before she does anything. 
You are completely safe with me next to you, I promise. So go ahead, like, raise from behind Mishpah, like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you are such a sweetheart, and I really love your enthusiasm, and how much you care, and you have honestly made me afraid of a different thing that will help with this, so let's go! Mishpa, uh, you see her eyes sparkle a little bit as you give her that praise. She takes everything that you said totally 100% to heart uh, and very happily follows after you. Love that. Honestly, glad to hear it. She's She's been she's been herself up too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, Brea now fully readjusted from the fact that, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> fully readjusted from that moment um does just kind of slide up to the bar chair directly next to Maeve and go hey she just she just does that slow head turn kind of like crimson from hell of a boss would you say that you're suitably drunk enough to hear from me yet? <laughs> That's not a no! She does like a frog blink and she chugs down <laughs> her- She chugs down her fifth glass and she orders another one and just points to the seat next to her. Sit. <laughs> right, yes, we'll, we'll do. For the record, Lafayette has officially like, propped herself up on the shoulder of Mishpa, just leaning and watching the show. Still <laughs> clearly safe and the fact that they have no idea she's here. <laughs> Mishpa is uh, fully concentrating on uh, Brea right now, so <laughs> she does not notice as you climb up onto her shoulder. She slithers over and just sort of props herself near uh, Brea's seat, crosses her arms, and just stares at uh, stares at Maeve, like very clearly just trying to be intimidating muscle right now. Lafayette's going to wave down the tavern keeper and order two drinks. Okie dokie. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, look who decided to finally notice! <laughs> Never mind. Hi. Let me actually, let me Hi, actually uh, let me actually give you the alcohol menu. Please do. Boop. Oh boy, all they have to eat here is alcohol. <laughs> all they have uh, to eat here is alcohol. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, I'm gonna get a Luppy Le uh, Lucky Leprechaun and a Coffee Cream Malt. Okie dokie. Who's drinking the it's Lucky Leprechaun? Who's drinking the Lucky Leprechaun, by the way? Uh, Lafayette's gonna grab that, and as you notice her, she's going to hand you the drink. It's like, you're gonna need this. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so Brea, you drink the Lucky Leprechaun? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh -oh. She let literally, me, uh... like, looks <laughs> me... away from Maeve and just kind of shotguns it. Well, am... let me, uh, let me send you what the leper lucky leprechaun does. Boop. Oh, fuck. Is it, is it green? Oh, thank you! That's helpful! <laughs> Actually, yeah, I am helping you out here. <laughs> Deeply helpful! I thought it was I'm just going to give her an Irish accent, but this is much My... better. <laughs> I, I was thinking that, or is that, like, a little leprechaun, like, pops up and starts doing a little tap dance to... <laughs> hey, you never get me Papa Gold. <laughs> you never get me Lucky Charms, bitch. <laughs> Damn. Could you tell me about this Moki Sunshine? <laughs> Everybody's here now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I am just going to see the Lucky Leprechaun. Uh, lucky le the, uh, English. <laughs> the Lucky <I> Ligma. <laughs> Lucky Ligma! Lucky Ligma. Lucky Ligma. No! No! Oh, no! Oh, that's not what I'm saying! No! Oh, that it sounds very... <laughs> that looks very fruity. I'll take a smoky sunshine. You get a smoky okay. sunshine. 
I'm going to see the Lucky Leprechaun and just be like, hmm. You know what? I'll take one of those. You get one. I and love that we're Mishpa. pre gaming this drinking game that we have to do later. <laughs> uh, Mishpa, uh, in comparison, um, has no basis for what alcohol is. She still has never tried it, so she just looks around at all the drinks kind of curiously, wondering why they're making people act all weird. Aren't you guys going to go to a drink till you drop thing today? That's not for another Maybe. three hours. By the way, Mishpa, I mean, you've got to be honest, you're not doing it right. <laughs> right? So, on second time, before I drink this, probably not a good idea to eat and drink it on an empty stomach. So, this time, I'll bite the bullet, I'll eat something. What kind of food do they have here? Is grog food? Boop. And I will s share with you the lunch slash dinner and dessert menu. Boop. Grog is a type of alcohol. Oh, cool. They serve Axe Beak here. I was one once. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Bread bowl? I'll just take a some roast stag. Hey. Oh. I, don't, I don't want it in the bread bowl. The bread bowls are always made out of sourdough. Is oh, is no. the is an axe beak just that fucking like axe chicken from Quest for Camelot? A uh, kind of, but but they're the size of a fucking ostrich. If you've oh, ever seen, <laughs> they were in the uh, the D and D movie actually, and they are considered an animal. Were they? Yes. Yeah, they were. I haven't seen that in a while. Here, here's a, what one looks like. Ah. Uh, I mean, that's a very fluffy one, but yeah, essentially. Yes, it's, it's, it's basically we have Chocobo at home. <laughs> the Chocobo at home, yeah. The Chocobo at yeah. home. <laughs> By the way, uh, uh, Mishra, you noticed that Lafayette has essentially propped herself up where both of her legs are resting on each side of you, and she's now basically just riding her shoulders as she drinks her beverage. <laughs> Oh, uh, what's in the dragon bone broth? Is it actual dragon bones? Or is it like a gecko? Honey, hold your questions. There's a scene about to happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as this as this is going on in the background, uh, Brea just kind of like leans on the table, uh, and then. <clears throat> So, it would appear that we are heading the same direction! Well, then. You ripper! I... <laughs> I should have not made this the joke with this character. <laughs> no, no, it's great, it's I'm great. I'm gonna be ripped going. on forever because I, I'm not even good at this accent. I just thought it would... <laughs> Anyway, continue. So oh, that's fun. We actually need to talk to. Uh... Oh God, what's his name? Valor. Valor. We actually apparently have some business with Valor as well. So. It would really help us out if you. Help us with that. <laughs> so, you want to talk to my boss? Um, oh, oh, if it helps, I would like to make it clear. This is not a me thing. This is a we thing. I'm not asking you a favor. We are all collectively asking you a favor, which is different. She kind of does that thing with her mouth where she, it like kind of goes over to the side <laughs> like a pursed lips and she uh, grabs your hair and gives it a tug back. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Brea. Uh-huh. And she gets really close to your face. Ah. You, don't, you don't fuck 
with my boss. I'll let you I... speak. I'll let you speak to him. But you don't fuck up this job for me. You uh, understand? If you can get us an, audi an audience, we don't even necessarily have to imply that we know each other. So, um... <laughs> she squints. I mean, if you don't mind. And, and, right, if you and hear me out about this, want to explain exactly what it is that you've got going on with your mum, then we could maybe also help with that. Sweeten the deal a little. I'm just saying, I'm, ju I'm just saying, I'm just giving you reasons not to kill me right now. <laughs> Ray, I'm not it would be so kill. easy. I'm not gonna kill you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. God. Anyway. I wouldn't. God. <laughs> That's nice to know. <laughs> but my mum's already being taken care of. Val is making sure that she's getting what she needs. Um, and I think, uh, I think at this point, um, despite being in the situation that she's in, <laughs> I think this is the point where she, like, decides, well, it hasn't helped me thus far, but it's, I'll turn on the charm a little bit, right? <laughs> It's actually done the opposite of help me thus far. Um. Well, that's good to know. Um. Might, might I ask though? I. Listen. You say we can't. We can't fuck up this job for you, but. I. You still aren't really forthcoming about what the job is. I mean, we could still help you, if you wanted. My only job is to get ingredients for whatever he's working on. And what ingredients have you gathered thus far, if I might ask? Um, just some uh, red abin 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 She just she just breaks out into cotton nod Joe. <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did you go? If it hadn't been for cotton nod I'd have married him. <laughs> red 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 abin 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 mushrooms and abin 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 and, uh, right, and bla right black in, sap. <laughs> now she's singing Scatman. Red scavenger broom and little mushrooms. This is the stupidest <laughs> fucking bit ever, and I fucking love it so much. <laughs> I love her so much, honestly. Scatman. <laughs> The fact that she hates me so much honestly makes me like her more. I think. And, uh, I by think... the way, uh, Brea. Mm. Mm. Her hand goes from clutching onto your hair to instead, uh, grabbing at your throat. Not, like, enough to choke you, but you definitely feel her fingers and nails kind of, uh, you feel the pressure on your neck as she would lightly her, scratches you. Would her doing that by any chance move my choker enough that she would notice the slash on my throat? No. Cool. So I still got that one. I, she doesn't have to know about that. Would I be able to roll insight to tell whether or not this is an innocent gesture? Uh, sure. Roll insight. Do I need to? <laughs> Hang on. Before you do that, 
It's too late. <laughs> no, don't don't you fucking tell me it's too late, bitch. I'm on your fucking <laughs> I'm on your shoulders. So first, I would like to roll inside to see if I catch this myself. Mm-hmm. Okay, Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> Alright, I can interact it. <laughs> I'm going to grab you by your, like, chin and quickly raise you up as I see the intention that you have. And just say, mm -hmm. and just shake your head, shake her head rapidly, like, no, 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 no. And she's going to sign out, no hostile intent, promise. <laughs> well, all right. But I don't like it. She's talking funny. I think she might be possessed. She's going. To, Lafayette is then just going to very oh. slowly drink, like bring the half leftover drink she has at the coffee oh, malt and just man. gently pour it down your throat. <laughs> Free Ooh. gaming. Free gaming. Mm. Ooh, what is that? That's zesty. And, uh, I like that. <laughs> and also, Brea, you hear Mom mm. say, "I gave you some information." You owe me something. A kiss. <laughs> um. -la 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 -la. At this point, at this point, like it is what it is. Um, this is the circumstance I placed myself in. Um. I mean, I can think of a few things I could do for you. Whoa! <laughs> you better be thinking what I'm thinking you're thinking. Because <laughs> if you're thinking what I'm thinking that you're thinking, then we're thinking about thinking. As, as <laughs> we're saying, thinking it together, as, as, and that's the thought that we're having. As she's, <laughs> saying, as she's saying this, she just kind of reaches her hand that was around your throat down your uh, chest and to your side. You know what? Fuck it. Honestly, she's she seems like she is like on. She she doesn't seem like she would kill me, but she seems like she could do it if I pushed her hard enough. And Bray's into that. So oh <laughs> insert my God. insert angry sex meme. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Um. Uh, I think. In an attempt to mostly move this away from everyone else at this point. Well, why don't you follow me up and we'll find out? I got a better idea. And she, hey, oh. and, and she uh, gets down off the stool and she grabs you by the hair and starts dragging you away. Oh! In context? Uh, out of context? Oof. Ah. Oh. Huh. <laughs> um, uh, in character, I, this is. I feel like this has happened before, except for she this asked for it. So I think this is fine. Mishpa once again looks up towards uh, Lafayette. <laughs> no <laughs> hostile intent. No hostile this, intent. Dim dismissive wave and just fucking orders another drink for you to enjoy. Oh, and, uh, Ooh. by the way, uh, Brea, Brea, only you can hear this, and Lafayette, because fuck you. Um, <laughs> you just hear, uh, Mav growl in your ear as you see her face morph into that of a dragonborn. I'm gonna wear you the fuck out. Uh, nice! <laughs> I mean, hell yeah! Oh, Fuck she a yeah, freak! <laughs> she Damn. Freak. Let's go! You f you, <laughs> you fucked up by doing what you did. <sighs> Fucking keep that one, you stupid fuck. What are you doing? Hey, yo, listen. <laughs> hey, yo, listen. Why Before... would you ever leave that? Oh my god, <laughs> I don't understand. Before... Before she became a bad person, she knew how to fucking pick them. I don't know what to tell you! <laughs> Yeah, but to keep them was the issue. Now you better start working on keeping that motherfucker. <laughs> Me oh, no. To be clear, I, I, like, this is, she's willing to let this happen. Uh, actually, more than willing to let this happen. But also, this is just a smidge terrifying. <laughs> hey, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll, you won't be able to walk properly, but you'll be fine. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, Nani's over here like, I don't know what another thing here is, but it's covered in cinnamon sugar. Bring me one, my dad. <laughs> another! <laughs> And one for my and one for my salamander. And we will finish off the night with Bria. Make a con save. No. <laughs> with disadvantage. No. <laughs> Come on, you're a trooper. You can do it. Use your insight. Use your insight. I believe in you. I believe in that's you. Bad. I, 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 that's... Hey, that's, that's not bad. That's dexterity. That's that, intelligence. That is not intelligence. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just subtract. The be real. That Bray is seven. Gay Just panicking. subtract. Bray is gay panicking. Just subtract three from it. It's the same difference. She she opened with turning herself into a pretzel, and then she got herself out of that pretzel. There we go. I clicked the right one. I'm panicking. Okay, this is ter that was terrifying. What she just? I said mean, we're to just me. gonna. I, I assume we're just gonna take the first one and just call that the five, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can I use my inspiration to at least make it the um? What would the, that be? Um, uh, <laughs> the fourteen. Yeah. The the fourteen. Okay, but you're still not walking right in the morning. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. She just moses on in like a cowboy. <laughs> you know what? Actually, no, that seems like a waste. I'll fucking take the five. Fuck it. <laughs> I will literally you're crawling out of your room. <laughs> I will literally take damage. Let me let me just make sure of something. Uh, Don't roll damage! Smoky sunshine. <laughs> Spice the rum with pineapple juice. Orange juice, lemon, and lime finished with a magically smoking ice to make it all bubbly. Warning, avoid actually eating the ice. Unfortunately, I... unfortunately um, the bed did not survive. <laughs> Love that. Perfect. Love that. Just, Love just that for me. Lafayette, <laughs> still running Mishpa, just going out there is like still in danger. Lafayette just signs that. Nah, they're doing a porn. Leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing. <laughs> Mr. Burns, who wants Hi. to eat magical eyes? <laughs> I'd like to ask you a question. Hmm? Given my present circumstances, I'm assuming that I end up unconscious. Yes. <laughs> because there's no way that that happens and I have health left. <laughs> yeah, you are fully unconscious afterwards with my uh and this and this seems like a good time to bring this up armor class of now 12 yep and my five hit points <laughs> you're fucked <laughs> also uh you end up going for six rounds hell yeah <sighs> only on the sixth do i pass out Yep. I don't believe you for a fucking second. <laughs> hey, no, listen. <laughs> Look, listen. I've heard about somebody who did this one time, and they told me that after the sixth time, they felt like they were doing setups with 100 pound weights on them. I need to be clear. This is, like, the, making it that long is the resistance level of a trained professional. <laughs> So you're fucked. Got it. All right. <laughs> literally. Yes. Literally. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, but actually, yes. Just, just, just sitting up in the bed. Just everyone just hearing, sitting up in the. Just everyone hearing from the other room. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. The worst part is I can only hear it in my left ear. Yeah. Yeah, I only have the left ear cup of my headphones on, so I'm just literally hearing. <laughs> it's like one of my ears is dying, and my other. Man, I'm glad I'm not there. <laughs> nah, I imagine it would be more like. <laughs> <laughs> Lafayette, if she could speak. <laughs> um. Uh. The f one day. 
one day she will be able to. Just something has to just make her mad enough that she can no longer stay silent. I mean, I gotta be real with you. This is a pretty good alternative to going and drinking herself to death instead, I guess. Why was that I mean, so funny when I clicked on that duck? Anyway, and this is where we will end off today's session. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> we will see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Who will get fucked next week? <laughs>